And Ghost Rider is a welcomed addition to the Alliance. We haven't seen him in an Ultimate Alliance game since uh, the original Ultimate Alliance, if I if my memory serves. But yeah, as I said, normally a Ghost Rider is not the sort of character that um, I get on board with. He's just not my cup of tea. But here in the Dark Dimension, he's a very welcome ally to our Alliance. What is it, mortal? That was pretty amazing stunt you just pulled. It was nothing compared to what I had to do to break out of the afterlife. Wait, were you dead? I mean, Nightcrawler can attest to that, and probably quite a few of the heroes on our roster have all been dead at some point or another. No, just cursed. There have been plenty of times that death seemed like a welcome change, however. If you weren't dead, why were you in the afterlife? I was dragged there by a powerful demon and things took an ugly turn. When I saw that rift, I wasted no time in making my escape. Not sure um, where you ended up is any better. You have no idea. But should you ever spill innocent blood, I promise you shall find out someday. Okay, ending that conversation with a vague threat. See, look, you've angered my alliance. They've come up here to defend me. Look, they've all stood in front of me. <laughs> I mean, I have been standing here pointing a sword at you, but Ghost Rider, you, you threaten my teammates and Captain America, Psylocke and Hulk. Well, they have vengeance for you. <laughs> but despite everything I've just said and despite that threat that Ghost Rider just threw my way, he is actually going to join the alliance. I said Nightcrawler wasn't going to be on this team for all that long, and that's because... But believe it or not, even though I'm not the hugest fan of Ghost Rider, by God, is he a good character in this game. Yeah, damn right he does. But uh, yeah, Ghost Rider in this game is actually an incredibly good character. And who would have thought, looking at this team, Captain America, Psylocke, Ghost Rider, and Hulk, that this was going to be the team I was going to be rolling with for a while. <laughs> Especially me, going to this game, I didn't know if Ghost Rider was in this game, let alone thinking I'd ever put him on my team, but he is just damn good. I'm actually not up to date with current comics, but I believe actually Ghost Rider is a member of the Avengers right now, just FYI, but yeah, so there, let's check him out, let's see what he's got, obviously he's fire resistance, I mean that doesn't, that's no surprise, and he does fire damage, but Blazing Skull, such a good attack, it's so much fun, uh, you fully upgrade it and obviously it does A style damage, it's naff against the stagger bars, but it's just so much fun to do because he just breathes fire out his mouth, it's very uh, similar to like uh, the Human Torch's abilities in the last Ultimate Alliance games, um, Raging Inferno and Hellfire Chain don't really do much when you fully rank them up, they just both see they both become C damage and D and C and then um, and stagger, but they are also good attacks. They hit a lot of enemies. Hellfire chain, especially, he whips it round. You saw it in the cutscene, and he does a lot of damage to a lot of enemies. Even though the damage isn't much, he just hits so many enemies. It's a great clearing attack. And Hell Cycle um, ends up doing A to stagger, so that's his stagger attack. And Blazing Skull is his damage attack, really. Um, Hell Cycle is a good attack, although it's kind of odd because he drives forwards on his cycle, so it's kind of hard to aim you and normally end up just hitting a bunch of walls for a while, but um, it's probably Blazing Skull and Hell Cycle I'm going to level up the most, so that's what we've got. We've got 40 points, hmm, and it take, it's going to take 30 to level that up, and it's 15 to get Blazing Skulls up, so what I'll do is I'll do both to 15 for now. Um... Because otherwise it means one's going to be fully ranked up and the, the rest haven't really got much in them. And then I'll put five in both Hellfire Chain and into Rage and Inferno as well. So the two that I'm used most are most leveled up. But then there's also the other two have just got something in there. Just so I can do a little bit of something with them. So what ISO 8 can we give you? Um, mastery. Uh, mastery might be a good one. You are breathing fire on people. Increases resistance to being interrupted while attacking um, by a little bit. I always found that really weird. Everything has a, a percentage next to it, except for this, which is increases um, resistance by a little bit. Like, it's just such an odd way of doing it. Increases vitality by 1%. Oh, man, that's lame. <laughs> um, this increases mastery by 6.8% um, as he deals a lot of fire damage. And then I'm thinking maybe just giving him the resilience, to be honest with you. Yeah, let's just give him resilience as well. Rightio, everyone else has the ones they want. I don't think there's anything I can really do with their abilities at the moment. Four into Hulk. I tell you what, seeing as how... Um, and I've only just realised this when I did the Infinity Trials, by the way. Down the bottom right, I had no idea until this moment. I feel pretty stupid about this, to be honest. The bottom right, those Void Spheres, you use those to reset your abilities. 
I had no idea about this. I had absolutely no idea. Um, and I've only just found that out. So I feel pretty stupid about that. So F Hulk's only got four AP points. There's nothing we can really put that into at this moment. Um, I might actually... Yeah, I'm going to reset caps because I wanted them on shield dash. I just didn't have enough of the AP... Um, Enough of the uh, the AP points to be able to do it. So now let's upgrade Cap's shield dash fully because that's mainly what we really want Cap for. And then we've just got four points, so we have to hold off, and then we'll probably start putting them in a shield strike and a super soldier going forwards. But yep, yep. No, I'm happy with all that. I think we are good to go. But yeah, now these lot I'll be sticking with for quite some time now. So yeah, we'll give uh, we'll give uh, <laughs> Johnny Blaze a bit of a go here, seeing as how we have just unlocked him, and then we'll give Psylocke a bit of a turn because we haven't actually really used her since we've actually uh, added her to the alliance. But I mean, if anyone's going to lead this team right now, I think the guy who's literally just come back from hell is probably the uh, the get best guy to lead the team. But yeah, let's check out some of these uh some of these abilities while we're here. Oh, okay, or you can kill my enemy for me. <laughs> so that is just such a fun ability, and it does so much damage. And I've just realised I don't think I have a flying character to get us up here. That was a mistake. I should have maybe kept a flying character because up here is one of those boxes that we want. But I think you can only get up there when you have a flying character. We have someone that can double jump? Oh, we do. Maybe she. Can, maybe we can get up there with Psylocke. Ah! No, so close. No, maybe not. Oh, well. Looks like you can only get this one if you have a flying character. And I kind of missed the mark by uh, removing all the flying characters from my team. Oh, well. But yeah, there is a there is a crate you can get up there if you have a flying character. So it's, it's probably best to keep a, uh, a character like that on your team at all moments. Yikes! There we go. Okay, so we needed Psylocke's double jump to get up here. So that Psychic Knife, that's the ability that I upgraded fully for Psylocke because it just does so much damage to the Stagger Bar. What else do we have up here before I move on? Not a whole lot by the looks of things. Now, I have no idea if there's anything down there, but to be honest, I don't really fancy jumping down there and finding out, although apparently Hulk and Ghost Rider do, so... <laughs> okay, you guys check out what's down there for me. Seems like you survived, so... Whatever's down there, it can't be deadly. But I don't exactly fancy jumping down there and finding out. No, actually, well, yeah, I might as well, because it looks like we're going to have to jump down anyway. Oh, it's just a portal. Ah, that's how you get up here. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> well, it all worked out in the end. Oh, I've only ever came up here using a flying character before, so... I'm glad Hulk and uh, Ghost Rider decided to jump down there and find out what was down there for me. <laughs> teamwork, boys. Teamwork. Yeah, all right, let's keep using Psylocke for a little bit. It seems like we've been using a double jump, so let's just keep using her for the time being. Yeah, but as you saw right there, there was a few of uh, Psylocke's other abilities, but to be honest, it's really this... that knife dash that she does, that's the best one that she's got by far. And her extreme ability, oh, the way she whips that knife around is just such a great clearing ability. Hello team, I can really use the assist up here. This flaming sphere is really laying the smack down on me. Looks like this dimension only twists your mind, but it literally twists your reality as well. Well, 
But with these portals, there's a lot of areas where you can jump through and then not make your way back again. So be sure you do check around all the uh, surrounding areas before you uh, before you push on. Because you don't want to go forwards and end up missing something that you uh, you could have used to upgrade your team. Now, what the devil is Doctor Strange doing here? I'm so glad you're here. Something is wrong. These portals... They're getting bigger? No. That must be a mistake. The spell you're casting... It, it's expanding the rift! You have to stop! I cannot cease. Until all realities are one. So I am commanded by the dread Dormammu. Now this boss battle is a pain in the butt. I said once before... I said once before that the Kingpin boss battle gave me a lot of trouble. That was due to inexperience. This boss battle just gave me a lot of trouble because it was a lot of trouble. Well, that was a great, a great extreme attack there, Ghost Rider. It would have been even better if I actually hit it. <laughs> yeah, Ghost Rider's got a great clearing attack. Unfortunately, it just takes quite a long time to uh, actually get it done. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why I swapped up um, Miles Morales. Oh, why I swapped up... Yeah, this is one of the reasons why I swapped out Miles Morales for, and Wasp for a Psylocke and Ghost Rider. Because these are characters that will do a lot of damage and really hurt his stagger bar. Yo, Doc, you know, if you could just try using that saltine spell or whatever it was again, greatly appreciate it. Now, during this part of the boss battle, I'm really in two minds whether you should go around and try and destroy all those orbs or just focus all your efforts on old Doc Strange. Taking out those orbs, it's, it limits the amount of things that can do you damage, but also I just feel like it wastes a lot of time, a lot of time that you could have spent taking down the Doc. Yikes! Oh my lord, I just got trapped in a... In between, it felt like in between Ghost Rider and um, Doctor Strange. Oh my god, all my characters are losing their health. We've got to knock down his stagger bar, hit him with a synergy, and take him down before all of my team are wiped out. Come on, Ghost Rider! Sooner rather than later, please! Yikes! 
This boss battle here as well is another one that I said is quite good to use Cat's shield on to uh, defend himself against Doctor Strange's attacks. No, Ghost Rider! I was kind of counting on the fact you're going to have a synergy to use there. Psylocke, get Cap up. We're going to need him. Now, if I focus on Doctor Strange, Cap, I could really use you getting Hulk up right now. All right, fine. In the words of Thanos, I'll do this myself. Ah, so close. Well, three teammates up for one getting knocked down. I'll take that trade. Yikes. Yikes, come on. Everyone just hit. Doctor Strange, as soon as he's down, this stops. God, he gets up so quickly. My best advice, I guess, for trying to take him down is to not... No, don't waste your abilities trying to knock down the stagger gauge and to save them for trying to do the synergy to him at the end. Oh god, we've got no more revives left. This is up to Ghost Rider and Hulk. Oh, that orb is nowhere near getting destroyed. Hulk, what are you attacking right now? Doctor Strange is over here. Like, he's not exactly, like, he's yikes, hard to miss. He's glowing yellow for crying out loud. Come on, Hulk. This is really where I could be using Big Green right about now. Not getting distracted by the orbs or whatever it is you're doing. Hulk smash! Boom, baby! was quite an impressive feat, but vanquishing the true Dormammu in his own realm will be nearly impossible. Lucky for us, the impossible is my specialty. Whew. Now that boss battle is a royal pain in the bum and I am so thankful and so glad we were able to do it first time. I This is the first time I've used these four together as a team uh, during this walkthrough and it looks like my gamble paid off because these were the team that I needed to take down on Doctor Strange. That boss battle gave me so much trouble the first time I played this game but um, yeah basically when building your teams, you can build, you can look at focus, um, you can look at uh, the team bonuses, or you can look at their individual abilities. But basically, as far as I'm concerned, all you need are characters to take down stagger gauges. Uh, synergies and all that do so much damage, but as long as you can take down their stagger gauge, then you've got a team that is going to work. And this team, so far, seems to work. So I'm quickly going to hit up this shield thing before we talk to uh, Doctor Strange, just to see if there's anything we can do, if there's anything we can rank up on our, uh, on our current team. I don't think there is at this point. No, there isn't. So let's just quickly jump into the uh, into the lab. And let's see if we can bump up our vitality or our strength or our energy or anything like that. So we did a lot of vitality last time. Let's go up into uh, energy. And let's increase that so we can do more synergies and uh, just do more of our abilities. Because we can't take down a stagger gauge if we don't have any energy. Let's put another one into strength while we're there. Why not? What's this? Decreases damage taken from melee attacks by 3%. Um, yes, please. <laughs> I'll definitely be taking that one. Let's put another one into strength. And we've only got 10 points. I don't think we can upgrade anything with just 10 points. No. Okay, let's put this guy actually up into strength. There we go. 
perfect. I owe you an apology for all of that unpleasantness. Hey, buddy, I'll just take our lives as payment, thanks. Just help us get out of here and we'll call it even. I will. But first we need to deal with Dormammu. Isn't that what we just did? That was no more than a shadow of his true power. He's the master of this dimension and can twist its dark magic to his whims. And it gets worse. Oh goody. How could it possibly get worse than that? Dormammu has an infinity stone. It's what opened the first rift between our dimensions. I tried to chase it here, but it was too late. For me, and perhaps for reality as we know it. So that's why Wanda was be able to transport us here in the first place, because dumomo has been weakening the uh, the barriers between our worlds with the uh, with the Infinity Stone. So that's how that's, that's how he was able to open all these rifts with the Infinity Stone. La di da di da. Here we go again. <laughs> I'm afraid so. And unless we stop him, he'll make every dimension as dark as this one. The doctor is in. We'll need to make our way to Dormammu's lair and pick up a little something extra along the way. Now, Doctor Strange is a character I've heard conflicting reports about. Some people praise him and say he's the best character. Others say he's really weak. I've personally not found him to be that good. However, if he's on a team of, a, of actual real players, like a co-op team, I can see how he's quite good. He's kind of like a Scarlet Witch. He, he has a healing ability and he can set up a bunch of stuns and uh, lots of ranged attacks. However, if you're playing with computer players and... Um, and you're attacking enemies, obviously he will draw all of their attack, and that's not what you want for Doctor Strange. So, I've heard he is quite a good character, just me playing on my own, I haven't really found him to be all too useful. He's been a bit too weak, a bit too squidgy um, uh, for my likings, but anyway, with all our upgrades done and dusted, let's get moving. Mamo's toying with the reality stone's power. He's altering the fundamental properties of this dimension, right down to our perception of it. If you like this video and want to see more going forwards, please consider pressing the like button. It really helps the channel to grow. If you're new here, definitely subscribe and always push that notification bell to be notified of all future videos going forward.